from the celebrity capital of the world, it's Hollywood Squares, starring Ted Danson, Frankie Muniz, Joan Rivers, George Hamilton, Andy Everhart, Jeff Dunham and Walter, Victoria Jackson, Fred Stewart, and our center square, Martin Mull. And your host, Tom Bergeron. Thank you very much, John Rashida. Welcome to all of you. Welcome to Hollywood Squares. Great to have you with us. Give it up for Martin and all our stars again, if you would, please. A fine looking group of tic tac toe people. I want to welcome back our returning champion, Jason Legrand, has $9,500 in King World Cash. Hey, good to see you, Jason. Thank How you doing? Good. And uh, you are now uh, being challenged by a new Miss Circle, Debbie Gerlock. Welcome, Debbie. Good to see you. Hello. Why don't you uh, tell us a bit about yourself? Hi, I'm from Poland, Ohio. Uh, my husband and I are business owners of a graphic arts equipment, and I'm a former majorette. And I'm currently teaching her how to twirl a baton. Teaching, teaching who? My daughter. Oh, your daughter. I'm sorry, oh, my daughter. Oh, all right. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Well, you you know the drill here. Uh, it's uh, best two out of three tic tac toe games. Uh, if you win two out of three, you are the new champion. Uh, what else should I tell you? Well, bluffs. Be on the lookout for those because they can trip you up. And of course, as the challenger, you get to start, Debbie. Uh, Ted Danson. Ted Danson. All right, Ted. <laughs> In his hit song, what did Barry Mann want to do to the guy who, quote, put the ram in the ram-a-lama ding-dong? Oh, so bad at lyrics. Um, he wanted to kick him in the ding-dong. <laughs> I don't know. Um, he wanted to give him a oh, bop shoo bop bop shoo bop He yeah. wanted to give him a bop shoo bop Yeah. I'll disagree. Wanted yeah. to shake his hand. Smart. Shake Very his smart. hand. Yeah, circle. <laughs> Gets that one. Jason? I'll take uh, George Hamilton, please. George Hamilton appearing with Angie Everhart in Dead Hollywood Mom Society, Hallmark Channel, Sunday, March 14th. George, true or false, if you look in a gecko's ear, you can see clear through to the other side. No, only if it's a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Not a political joke here. <laughs> Just threw it out there. Uh, some of my best friends are blondes. Uh, I would say, uh, yes, you can see through uh, right from one gecko's ear right through to the other. Yes. I would disagree. It is true. Wow. No. It is true. Explains that whistling noise as well. Circle <laughs> gets the square. Demi. French Stewart, please. French Stewart. All right, French. French, exactly 1,440 of these occur every day. What are they? Ooh. Well, in Beverly Hills, I know it's extreme makeovers. <laughs> I know I've had a lot of work done personally, and uh, I can tell you right now from experience, never go someplace that accepts coupons. <laughs> um, no, White House tours. I'll disagree. Minutes. Minutes. Circle oh. gets the square. <laughs> All right, Jason. I'll go with Angie Heverhart for the block. Yeah, Angie please. for the block, appearing with George in the movie that I said George was appearing with Angie in. Angie, what does Heloise suggest you use to remove lipstick quickly from a collar? Um, well, I would use my lips, but <gasps> um, you could also use club soda. Club soda. I agree. Rubbing alcohol wow. is what a Heloise suggests. Can't give you that one, Debbie. You have to earn it yourself. Joan Rivers for the win. Oh, oh. be sure to catch Joan's red carpet coverage on E! throughout the year. Joan, which is worth, <laughs> which is worth more when spelled out in Scrabble tiles, Tom Bergeron or Sex Machine? <laughs> well, I have a sex machine. Yeah. <laughs> And thank God they're self-cleaning. That's all I can say. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, Martin, I'm just trying to make a living. Anyhow, 
Well, I play Scrabble, mm -hmm. and sex has an X in it, and X is like 10 points or 12 points. So I would say, don't get hurt, Tom. I would say sex machine. All right. I'll agree. Yeah, because of the X. The uh, X. That's right. Uh, 24 versus 16 for my name. Yes, and you got the win. Time, <laughs> time to play our next $1,000 game. This one has a secret square. John, what's in the secret square stash? It's two tickets to paradise for an island vacation in Aruba. You and a guest will fly Delta Airlines to spend five nights at the luxurious Radisson Aruba Resort and Casino, located on 14 oceanfront acres of white sandy beach. Relax among the resort's lush gardens, lagoons, and waterfalls. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, John. And now you get to know something we don't know, like who the secret square is. All right, Debbie, you won the first game. You get to start this one, and if you win this one, you're our new champion. Go ahead. Ted Danson, please. Ted Danson again. All right, Ted. Oh. <laughs> Imagine this. Hypothetical question. If yeah. your eyes were flawlessly turned upside down and put back in their sockets, would you be seeing me upside down right now? Yes, and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> it was the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> uh, no, you would not. I'll agree. Yes, initially you would, uh, according to our crack team of experts. So how X gets know? that square. How do they know? I don't know how they know. Maybe that's, you know, because they got too much time on their hands. We have none, though. We have to break for a commercial and come right back. So stay there. Emotional consideration furnished by the following. All right, welcome back. We got a secret square game underway, an Aruba vacation up there in the secret square. And Jason, your turn. Yeah, Victoria Jackson, please. All right, Victoria right. from Romeo. Saturday nights on Nickelodeon, which uses. I'm going to take this right into the uh, toilet. Which uses more water each day, the average toilet in your home or the average elephant? I don't have an elephant, so I would say toilet. I would disagree. The elephant, they've been known to drink up to 60 gallons a day. Uh, yeah, X gets that square. <laughs> Debbie. Frankie Muniz for the block. All right, Frankie's new movie, Agent Cody Banks. Destination London opens March 12th. Frankie Thomas Edison once hired a dancer to wear a helmet with a light bulb on top and metal shoes to tap dance across an electrified floor. Why? Um, <laughs> probably uh, to keep him focused at the lab so he didn't want to go out and try other things. <laughs> to keep him focused at the lab. I'll disagree. Really? <laughs> <laughs> to, pr <laughs> to prove that light bulbs were safe is why he did it. Circle gets that one. All right, Jason. Yeah, I'll take uh, Joan Rivers, please. Joan Rivers. All right, Joan, here we go. Joan, do the majority of women who have their breast implants removed get new ones to replace them? No, no, no. They just usually rotate them. You know, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's spring, Doc. Let's go. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> or in my case... <laughs> <laughs> I think they, yes, they've proven that once you've had a good breasts, chest, whatever, uh, rack, you want to have them, they get them back. I would agree. 82% get, uh, get them replaced. Get yes, that's them. right. X gets the square. All right, Debbie. Jeff Dunham and Walter for the Jeff block. Jeff and right. Walter at the Comedy Thank Connection you. in Boston. Thank March you so much. 25th to the 28th. Thank you. Hey, Tom, you know what a little trivia I learned? What's that, Walter? Did you know that during the Iraqi war, French Stewart changed his name to Freedom Frickin' Stewart? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I don't know. I, I'm sorry. I That's all right. China, uh, China recently sent someone off in a divine vessel carrying two pounds of seeds. Where did he go? Where did he go? Well, he only got halfway down the river before a bunch of birds pecked him to death. <laughs> I didn't think that was that's funny as hell. I don't know. <laughs> Screw you, that was funny. <laughs> uh, I think he was uh, sailing to Hawaii. All right. I'll disagree. He was going up in space in orbit. The seeds were for an experiment. Circle gets a block right. there. All right, Jason. That'll take Martin Mull for the win, please. Martin Mull for the win. Yes. What is generally bigger, Martin, your wigwam or your teepee? We're all adults here, Tom. You can use the real words. I believe the, the teepee was more like a summer home. I think, the, uh, I think the wigwam was really where the family was, where you had the family room and, the, and all that stuff. Um, and I, so I'm going to go with wigwam, bigger, teepee, smaller. I'll agree. Wigwam bigger, TP smaller. Yes. yes, that's right. We have a tie game. And not coincidentally, we have a tiebreaker when we come back right after this. Stick around. Promotional consideration furnished by the following.